Right, good morning everyone who's watching. It's a lovely morning, sunny, a little bit of cloud. Um, so hopefully it'll be nice and warm today. Hope you've all well. Today we're going to do a return journey from the last stream, which is going to be from Skegness back to Cleefops back in the day, in the 1950s, I would have thought, 1940s, when the steam trains were around. And it is half past five at night, but it's supposed to be in... Hang on a minute, let's do it again. It's going to be dark before we get back. Let's quit that. I don't know why they make it so dark at half past five. Sorry about this. Let's change the time. It's too late. Let's just say... One o'clock. Okay, we'll start again. We don't want to be going back in the dark. We won't see nothing. <coughs> okay, so we're going to do the return journey. Cleef up, uh, Skegness to Cleef up. But this time, we're going to do it in a Thompson B1, which is probably a locomotive that would have done it in in the in the 1950s. The Thompson B1. <clears throat> I would think it would have been either a Thompson B1 or a 9F. Or maybe a Black 5. That'll be the three locos I reckon would have been used in this area. So we're going to use a Thompson B1. And we're going to have four coaches, which is alright really. And this time, we're going to go via Boston, and then we're going to go via Lincoln, and then we're going to Cleefarts. And we will stop at all the stations, what the train would stop at in the modern day. So any stations that I approach that I recognise from my trip my trip to Skegness on Bank Holiday Monday, just gone, I will stop at. So when this loads up and it won't be getting dark, because uh, like I say, I don't know why this particular route. If you're travelling at a sort of after five o'clock, it starts getting dark quite early, even in the summer, which I, I think is a mistake on whoever developed the route. Because on every other route I've got, if you're travelling in the summer, it doesn't get dark till about ten o'clock at night, which is realistic. So whether it's a little mistake on their part, I don't know. But well, here we are. We are in Boston. Uh, sorry, Skegness. Uh, platform 7 we shall put some lights on the train let's just check the train here we are we have a nice um, Thompson B1 running number 61111 in the British Railways black with a British Railway crest and she's hauling four what I call blood and custard coaches, but most people call them um, crimson and cream or whatever you want to call them. I don't know. I think <coughs> blood and custard. So everybody's on board. 
Okay, do we have speedo in this train? I don't think it would, because it's a, quite an early train, this one. No, we don't. Right, signal is green, so let's put the reverser into full. Let's release them brakes. So it's 23 miles to Boston. Okay, the brakes are released. Let's set them to running. Oh, let's go. <coughs> That was a bit of a jerky start, but never mind. So it's 20 miles an hour leaving the station. So we'll uh, creep up to 20 miles an hour. We'll just reduce our reverser. It's quite a good model, this one. <coughs> Let's travel in this, in this, like this. Let's, so we can see the train a bit better. <coughs> So there's the B1, it's leaving the station. <coughs> Beautiful, isn't she? Off she goes, steady as she goes. the V1. Okay, I don't know why she went across to that line and come back over there, but uh, well, that's what she's doing. Let's come down. That's better. And it's got these lovely coaches. Can we look inside them? Let's have a look. Uh, yes, we can. Some of the trains you can't. Well, this is these are um, first-class coaches. Right, we're 50 miles an hour now, so let's get going. I love the, I like the whistle on the B1 as well, that's quite a good whistle. So we won't be stopping at Seacroft because that one doesn't exist now. Let's get this up to 50 miles an hour.
Haven House. <clears throat> Not sure what the maximum speed of a B1 was. Probably about. I don't know. Um, about 80, I think. Something like that, maybe. 60, 70, but I don't know. About 80 mile an hour, I would have thought. Well, we're not going to be able to do that on this line. The maximum speed we're going to achieve on the on the way to Cleef Ops is going to be. What, 65 mile an hour? But yeah, no rush. I'm comfortable at that. Nice 48 miles an hour. Right, coming through Seacroft. Let's coast, ready for slowing down for Wayne Fleet. Here we are at Wayne Fleet.
see if we're getting on. Yeah, they're not getting on. Just keep looking to wait for the doors to shut. Oh, everybody's on. Off we go. We're back up to fifty mile an hour again in a minute.
slowing back down to 25. <coughs> Where are we going to be heading? Left or right, you think? Possibly left. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> the left it is.
next station. Little steeping. Yeah. station coming up it's going to be Eastville you, just put, you don't get you get pretty good view out on, on a B1 because you've got that window at the front there and some locos it's a bit, not a very good view Keep popping your head out the window to see what's going on. Back up hill again. 
Uh, <coughs> should be going through Eastville at about 55 mile an hour, I think. Old Leak. That's not a station that exists now. I think it's going to be pretty much uh, 65 mile an hour now until we get into Boston.
next station. Sibsy. Only five miles to go. a lot better. It gets quite noisy inside them engines. That's, good. That's a nice speed for this loco. 61 miles an hour. That's just nice, steady, steady pace. Don't have to worry about breaking speed limit in this thing. Alright, we're going to slow down now anyway, so 30 miles an hour. So we'll just coast. Save that. Save the, um Say power. We're not far from Boston now. I think we might need to apply a little break, so...
try and slow us down a little bit quicker before we head into Boston. the brakes at that, can't we? Oh no, we'll go what? What's, a, what's this river then? That's probably the Wyvern. Let's release them brakes. Don't want to come in too slow. And we've got to slow down to 20 mile an hour anyway, so... Side. So we'll just coast it into coasting into um, Boston. And going into platform one. And we've got a caution signal here. We've got to do 20 because of all the well, approaching the station. We've got a really bad bend here. waiting for me waiting for me to get past I'm slowing down to 10 miles now right we're nearly in Boston Red light if we're going to the right, green light if we're not. Blue moon we're not. Right, if, you, if you carry on going past this station, which you can't, which we won't be able to, I don't think. We'll end up in um, Peterborough. What's he doing?
Yeah, it's Boston West Street, Peterborough. Peterborough Junction. Guys are coming out of the wall, look. Oh, see, he's fucking dodgy, isn't he? I'm just going to have a look at that. The centre right thing. There it is. Look like at that. Is that one going down here? Right, well, let me look. Never mind. We have extended a line past there, but I don't understand why it doesn't let you go that far. As far as you could, though. Wait, let's... Okay. Let's go set up the second leg. Boston to where is it? Here we are, Lincoln. <coughs> Boston to Lincoln. that cat visible gate mm. we'll sleep Nettle, nettle and peppermint tea. <coughs> okay, we're good. Boston too. Okay, let's get this journey going. Do that. 
Oh, that passenger's on my way waiting. What did I do that for? That's better. Yeah, people are getting on. Okay, we'll check that again in a minute. Stick the lights on again. Look behind us. Doors are still open. 31 miles to Lincoln. Okay, we're ready to go. Release the brakes. Ten miles an hour. See if there's any stations that we actually have to stop at on this one. Not chuck there before. Oh, it's not. There's a boat in there, river. Or looks to be. Okay, 15 mile an hour, let's go. Nice shot of the coaches going over the bridge. Yeah, we're going to the left. Oh, the fart. Yep. It's a 50 mile an hour. There we are going to the left. Now we can finally get going. That's it, now we can get our speed up.
There should be some stations on here that I recognise. Considering that we are just coming through Boston. In the modern day, we'd have been coming from Sleaford, which goes through Boston. From Sleaford through to Boston. From the Sleaford, Sleaford to Lincoln, you go through Boston on the way. So let's see what stations we actually recognise on this trip. Speed up. Love the sidings there. Huh? Twenty mile an hour coming up. <coughs> the river on the left, I remember that. Loads of like swans on it when I, when we went past it. I'm not sure what river that is though. But yeah, it was a nice river. Plenty of swans on it. Okay, we're going to have to apply some brakes here by looks of it. I don't know, we might not. Yeah, I think we will. Just a little bit. Slow us down to 20. Release them. Now I wonder where we're going to go. It's not a junction, is it? Not sure. Going around the bend by the looks of it. Oh, it's a temporary speed limit, isn't it? And then it should say T at the end of it. I've never seen a C. overgrown on this track. Yeah, it is a temporary that's what the T the C and the T is. It's a restriction. been through any station since we left Boston. Oh, that's why. 
No. But, no, we haven't. Hopefully we'll still be safe and soon. Station. What's this station? Langrick. Don't recognise that one.
slow me down to 40 mile an hour in a minute. Lovely station coming up. Possibility. There there is. I wonder what it is. Dog dyke. station right behind it as well. A plane, Look like a plane. There's a turntable there. Tata Shill. Oh, that's a nice station. Lots of um, flowers. Back up to speed in a minute. Tata show.
Another speed limit coming up. I'll just release that then. Let's see what happens here. Well, there's no station. Coasting down. Might need to break actually. There's a junction coming up, and that's why I can just see it. Track splits off into two. Alright, we better slow down. Down to twenty miles an hour. Should we do it? the brakes. Perfect. Back up to 50, but not for long. See how the track bends over to the left and back to the right. Not far to go now. Well, 16 miles. We're not going to get up to 50. But we'll accelerate up to 40. There's another station coming. Which one's this one then? Woodall Junction. Let's cut the power down, we don't want to speed in, do we? Warthol Junction. There's a few cars on that road. Down to 20 miles an hour again. Um, may as well coast as much as we can.
we might actually do this without breaking. Mm, maybe. <coughs> 20, 40, then 20 again. What the hell? No, we're not going to do it. Let's put some brakes on. Nice and steady around here. Bends up here. Oh, it's a nice watching the train at a distance like that. We just speed up a little bit, not much now. Don't want to throw our passengers everywhere. down to 20 again then back up to 40 again oh don't let curse back down again These are all the stations we went through last night, yesterday. Stickswood. We're obviously approaching Lincoln in a different direction then. Oh, slowing down too much now. Let's put some power back on. Approaching Stickswood. I can't, I'm gonna I'm gonna pronounce it as Stickswood. It sounds about right, I think. Stickswood. Yeah, Stickswood. It wouldn't be Stickswold, because that would mean it wouldn't have a U in it, would it? So it's definitely Stickswood. Okay, let's start to pick our speed back up again. As we pass through Stickswood. It's a little red van part there. 
Might have been a Royal Mail van. Who knows? Some sort of a water feature there. Another station coming up. <coughs> oh yes, Suffery. Looks like it's taking the same route back. Near enough. But going in from a slightly different direction. Suffrage station. A couple of sidings and suffrage station. Not if you can actually go down there. Probably can if I don't see any manual points on it though. Pop a cart then. How is the road going through the river? Was it's a ford? Fjord, what do you call it? bit strange. That road was going into the river. Beep, 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 beep. All quiet today, Misty. Not talking to me, all right, fair enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Eleven miles to go. Is the train going to disappear behind the bushes? No. Nope. Might take a screenshot of the train entering into Lincoln Station. doing about three o'clock. I think the next station coming up will be Badney probably. If I remember correctly. Yeah. Badney one. Lincoln.
There's a lot going on here. Got some sort of a power station there. There's a side in there so you can go down it. I don't know if you can get down it with manual points though. I think you can actually. It looks like you can. Well, there's definitely some sidings there to get you down to the power station. Hmm. There's a few sidings. A few sidings on this side as well. Oh, there's a turntable there. Nice. A few sidings. Oh, that was a bit of a bad bend. I threw the passengers of it, didn't it? and steady what's this a bridge or something looks to be another sluice looks to be like another sluice you yeah, know going over a bridge Beautiful. What's that there then? Some oh, it's a lock. Oh yeah, it's a lock gate. Look. There's a lock there. Must be the Fosdyke Canal. Let's try and pick our speed back up to 40 again. Now we've just dropped to 38. Another 20 mile an hour limit coming up. We'll have to break for this one, won't we? Yeah, apply some brakes now. Perfect. Yeah. 
bit of a bad bend here. Back up to 40 in a minute. The sun's still shining. Full power, let's get back up to 40. Five mile house. Coast down. I'm going through my five mile house. Well, that's the five mile house, is it? Across there. It's not even a proper platform, is it? Well, it is a platform, but it's all made of wood. So it's not a real, not a really modern station. Four and a half miles to Lincoln. I don't think the train would have gone this way, personally. I think it would have gone skeggy to Boston, Boston straight to Grimsby. It would have been a lot quicker route. For Boston through Alford, Louth, straight to Grimsby. 65 mile an hour limit, just about all the way back. But never mind. Let's try not to throw our passengers all over. No, it's not too bad. 
little bit of G on the meter there. That's alright. Yeah, we're not far from Lincoln now. Uh, definitely all the stations we came through last night, but we didn't go to Boston, did we? We went straight to Lincoln. Uh, okay, we missed out Boston. for speed. As we approach Washington, Washington. call it, I call it Washingborough, not Washingborough, it's Washingborough, where we live it's all the places like, that have got a, a borough on the end, it's bruh, like Gainsborough, Flixborough, There's a track going off to the left there as well. Wonder where that takes you. Don't know, but I don't think it's manually pointed. Hmm. How would we be able to get down there? I reckon I have to do a free roam or something and explore some of these areas. Be nice. a bit of speed here, let's get out. Oh. Pick up the speed again. I'm not far away now anyway, 1.8 miles. I can, I can see the power station in the distance. So we should be coming to a speed limit anytime soon. Maximum speed on this line was 40 miles an hour. That's why it takes so long to get anywhere. <laughs> With that little short stretch of uh, 65, didn't we? Before we got to Boston, well, that was a. Oh, I'm speeding. What the hell? Let's ease off a bit. That's a very bad bend there. Just saw the G meter go flying across. Right, okay, we're all right now. Oh, we're going to... No speed limits going into the station. Just one coming out. Or there might be, so I better get prepared for that. So we are three quarters of a mile away from the beginning of the platform. So let's see where we're going to go. 
Oh. Oh, it's a station. Lincoln Six. Oh, well, we may as well coast in, don't we? And there's a lot of engine sheds, and there's a a turntable there as well. Right, I think we should think about some brakes. Just a little bit. That'll do us for now. Where's Lincoln? There's lots of tracks here. I don't think I've ever been down. Oh, I think that's Lincoln there. Oh, we're speeding. Oh, it is 20 mile an hour. What the hell? I should remember that. Whoa, it's not going to be good for the passengers. Let's release the brakes of it. Well, we've arrived at Lincoln safely. Everyone's still alive. Platform six. Okay. Now we've got to do the last leg. last leg it's gonna be Lincoln Washington no um, where is it there's Cleefops or oh, just make it an hour later Okay. All right, let's get this started.
So the station stops will be Market Raisin, Barnaby, Habra, um, Abra, Grinsby. And then straight to Cleefops. It doesn't stop at it doesn't stop at the uh, docks or the new Cleef. Okay, let's get ready to go. Forty-seven miles. Hmm. Let's wait for these doors to shut. Okay, let's leave Lincoln. Lincoln Central. Watch the train going out of Lincoln. Twenty miles an hour. Let's I like watching it from a distance, it's quite cool. You get to see more of the scenery. Let's up the power a bit. it make the car stop there's loads of people there's a lot of crossings in Lincoln and there's that little sharp hill as we go out of Lincoln I don't know what they are. Oh, steam, o steam, oil, and gas en engines. Hmm. There's another turntable there. Isn't that the same way we came out? I think it might be. Looks familiar. Get ready to get up to uh, 50 mile an hour in a minute. And we'll wait till we get past these bends and then we'll boot it. We are going uphill, let's get a bit more regulator on there. Uh, reverser. Oh, it's leveling out now. Okay. Let's wait till I've got past this bend, I think. There's some more tracks down here. I'm not sure where they go to though. Probably some industrial. Oh, and the trains disappeared. Oh, bit of lag there. Behind the um, massive trees. All right, we'll be on our way. Just reduce that down a bit. Pass all the industri pass all the housing estates. 
and whatever that is on the right. Some sort of sheds. Let's go. Ah. There you go, that's better, isn't it? You can see the whole train now. Four coaches. I'm going to do this. Oh, 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 wait. That way. Oh, that'll do it, that's alright. Right, let's get back to Cleefarts. It's a 50 mile an hour now, probably all the way to Barnaby. Actually, this looks a bit too far away. Right, wrong way. to speed. A little bit quicker on this line than it was on the last line. Oh. Next station. Reapham. Or is it Reefham? Is it Reapham? Reap them, or is it reap, reef them? No, I think it's reap them. I can't imagine it being reef them. I just saw the gates opening for the crossing. Yeah, I did actually. There you go. No cars coming now. Don't see any. Nope, no traffic on that road. Must be a pretty quiet village. Langworth. I think Market Raisin comes after Langworth, doesn't it? If I remember right.
Langworth. This is where it's a little bit up and down hill here. Not much so. Just about, just about coming into Langworth. Let's just up the power a little bit more. So one in 174, that's fairly steep for this area. Oh, there's some cars waiting for those to go past. You won't be waiting long, mate. Now then, next station. I think the next station is Market Raisin. We'll see if these gates open soon. Yep. No traffic on that road. <laughs> if you're interested in this route, I'll um, I'll leave a link in the description below, and it's free. The all of the you know the North Lincolnshire routes, it's free. You don't have to pay for it. I think you you can donate to the guy. I'm not sure. If I remember right. But yeah, for a free route, it's okay. No, it's not the next station. It's that's Snelland. But it, if you go onto their website, it tells you, like, you need some other little assets, packs to, you've got to download as well. Like, um, what was it? There was an up, there was a, a it, there's all the links are in the on on the website, but you need like um, is it UK rolling stock package, um, cl uh, a clutter package, so you get more detail on your stations and stuff. There's some optional ones packages as well. So if you want to see like barges on the canals, there's certain packages you can download. But I never bother with that. They're not critical. And then there's also another update as well. There's a plane. Was that a plane? I thought I saw a plane. There's another package you get a little a little program you need to download as well. It's so in, so you can um, use this route on a quick drive like I am now. Yeah, there's a plane. What the hell is... The plane doing over... Hmm. Strange having a plane on here. Don't make sense. 
So yeah, there is a few little packages you might need to download. Some of the scenarios um, don't work properly unless you've got the right locos and stuff. So when you, I got it, I went onto the uh, dovetail and bought a few different Steam locos, and then that made, and then some of the um, scenarios you've got. To, just didn't won't work so what I did was I just went into the world editor there was one on the, the called the day tripper and all I did was took the coaches off the back of the train and put some different coaches on it and it worked I really not, wasn't really fussed that it didn't have the correct coaches on as long as it had some coaches on it and I did I had to do the same with the the one with the coronation class. I had to replace them coaches and put some more on because it won't run. But the little minor details like that. And if you know how to use the uh, the editor, then it's not much of a problem. Oh, I do think it gives link a description on the website that tells you where you can pick up locos and that from but uh, yeah so if you want to download it I'll leave a, a link of the website and um, go and have a look oh, it's well worth it Seems to be holding at 48 and a half miles an hour. Or oh, maybe not. It was. Mind about going uphill a little bit. So yeah, check, check it out. There's lots to do on this route. There's a lot of scenarios of it. Like I say, if you're familiar with the editor and you know how to use it, which I took me a little while to learn how to use it. You'll be able to use that and get some of the scenarios working properly. If you load them up, and then it comes up with a little message saying it can't find a certain loco or it can't find some rolling stock or something. So, But he does say on the website, if you want to, he doesn't mind if you want to um, put your own rolling stock on there. I thought, oh. I'm not too fussed really about the scenarios. I've done some of the scenarios. They are quite interesting. Um, there is some diesels on there as well. Some of the scenarios do include using diesels like the Class 47. And uh, the class 37, I think. Um, there is one where you go from Cleefox to Boston in a in the class 43 high speed train, which is a bit modern for this type this route. And there's also one where you go from Immingham, is it Immingham? No, New New Holland Pier, right to to Immingham Docks. And you do that in a class 166. So that's a bit modern. But what I like about the route is now I've down, uh, downloaded and installed the little program that allows you to use the quick drive facility. You can pretty much put whatever loco you want on there. As long as it's not electric anything you want really ah market raisin here we go we're going to stop here 
Yes, this is one of our schedule stops. So we shall pull up at Market Raisin. And let some people off. I think we'll coast. I think we'll, um, if anyone watched the, I did a live stream the other day of the fictional route, Marsden Shire. So I think I might return to Marsden Shire on the next stream. But I'm going to do a couple of the scenarios off there. Let's pull into Market Raisin. I don't think we're going to get all our coaches on there. Let's have a look. Let's turn around. Let's have a look. Oh, we did. We did actually. It's quite a big platform. Are the doors shut? Let's check. No, it's still open. Where'd they go now? be gone. Set the brakes back to running. Power. Full power. See these here. You, if you're in a freight train, you can back up into onto them, and then release your coal or whatever it is. That's what they are. They're coal shoots. There is one scenario on there, which I might do actually. It's called. The merry-go-round, I think it's called, where you take a class 47 um, with about 35 coal hoppers and you go from, I think it's Immingham, one of the sidings in Immingham, and you go all the way to West Burton Power Station. So if any of you are not familiar with where West Burton Power Station is, it's just past Gainsborough. 
which is like the other side of the River Trent. And then you go in there, and when you hint, go into the Westburton Power Station siding, it's like a five mile an hour speed limit, and it's like a circular track. And as you're going round, you hoppers pass over the coal chutes. So you drive the hoppers over two at a time, unload them, and you just keep moving the train forward a bit, keep unloading them. And then when you've done, you go back out. It's like a loop. And then um, head back to um, Immingham with an empty train. That's a good one. Because um, you get a lot of um, signal. You've got to keep your eye on the signals on that one because there is a lot of delays on that one. It's, in fact, I might do that as a stream. It's a very, it's an interesting little scenario that. But yeah, it's not straightforward. You have got to watch the signals because I think you're always following, you're following another train. I think. But it, it's good. It's a good scenario that. In fact. If we've got time today, before I go, I've got to go to work soon. Oh, I'm not for another two and a half. Well, um, providing I don't get a phone call, because I might get a phone call from work, then I will be going to work for my normal time. I'll be leaving for work in about two and a half hours, so. If we can, if we finish this scenario and, I, and there is time, I might do the the West Burton one. Or if not, I might do it tonight. But it is a really good scenario. It's a very interesting one. Because you're actually not just... It's, a little bit, it's more interesting because you've got to deal with signals... You've got to do some unloading. You're not in a, you're in a diesel loco. You've got a really long train behind you. It's quite a challenge trying to slow it down as well. So, yeah, it is quite interesting, that one. There's another one I quite like as well. It's called... Um, the church, it's called the church trees, I think it's called. And you have to take a loco, a loco with a, you got a, a loco, I can't remember what loco it is, steam loco. And you take a guards van with you and you go all the way to Wintringham. And it's gone far. And then you have to pick up these, detach the, the guards van, couple up to these three big wagons because they've cut a load of trees down from this big church in Winteringham. Then you've got to go back and we pull the wagons out the side in. Couple back up to your guard van, then take the train all the way to Barnaby, and then drop them off. So that's quite an interesting one as well. Holtonly Moor. We're not far from Caister. Holtonly Moor. Hmm. There's a fisher for a little pond up there. I can't remember what they called it. Watermill Farm, that was it. At Holton Limor. Yeah, I don't think we see that pond on here. We might do. It's actually a caravan site. Hello, we've got a downhill section. I'm just going to reduce power. Just 
just in case it's quite steep. Let's see how that goes. Oh, there's no traffic on that one. So yeah, there's a few routes I'd like to, a few scenarios I'd like to, to do on here. Eventually I'll get all those scenarios working and once I've worked out what, what's causing the problems on them. It doesn't look like it's going to be much of a... Let's put the power back on again. Actually, it's going to get a bit steeper there by the looks of it. Yeah, it is. Right, OK. Oh, it's, on, oh, it's only 250. It's not too bad. Another side in there. Is it manual points? Yes, it is. No, it's not only, only more. It's more town, actually. Sorry, more town. More towns where that pond is. It's not far. It's only about... What? 15 mile... About a 15 mile drive from Grimsby. It's not far. Is a bit steep actually. Oh no, it's not that bad. It's only 150. Okay, well. Only 26 miles to go. Any, if anyone wants me to do any other routes, uh, any routes that you know of or you want me to do, just uh, post a comment in below and I'll, I'll do one. If I've got that route, I'll do it. It's pretty much certain that I'll have that route because I've just about, I've, I've pretty much got everything, well, just about everything in the United Kingdom. So plan to do a full route of um, the Flying Scotsman from London's King's Cross to Edinburgh Waverley. But the the route's not all one route, so it'll, have to, it'll be in about four parts. So we'll be going from London to Peterborough, and then from Peterborough to York, York to Newcastle, and then Newcastle to Edinburgh. So if anybody wants that me to do that, just let me know. I shall do it with a flying Scotsman. Or possibly a mallard. Yeah, 
It'll probably take about four and a half, five hours to get to do that. North Kelsey. Right, where are we going next? Oh, we're not at Howsham. Right, I think Barnaby comes after Howsham. Yeah. We didn't just shut the door downstairs. This pretty old flat shook. I felt it. Right, let's up the power a little bit more. It's quite a good loco, isn't it, the Thompson? It's not... It's good for this journey. You don't need anything that's going to go massively quick. It's like I say, the maximum speed we're going to work, we ever get on these on this journey is 65 miles an hour so it's ideal in fact you could probably get away with a little what do you call it um, a 4F a Fowler 4F or something or um, a 7F would be good on here as well It's not exactly a... I mean, the Thompson B1 was suited for local passenger services and um, freight freight work. So, it's because it's a route that's not going high speeds, it's quite suited. A little, maybe a 2MT or a 4MT, that, they'd be ideal on here as well. Yeah, 2MT would be good on here. Or a Robinson 04. That's another loco that would be good on here. Or even a Pannier. A 57 double X Pannier. Oh, that would be good on here, yeah. A 57 double X Pannier. Pannier tank. Pulling about... I don't know. Three coaches. Three of those coaches would be enough for a pannier tank. You don't really need too many coaches on the back of a pannier tank. I think they'd do alright with that. Or even the um, the 14 double X that'd easily do this with the auto coach on it. What was that? What was that one? The J94, yeah, that one'll do it. Dock tank. I've, I'm, I don't know about the dock tank. That's only a 3F. Might be struggling a bit with the dock tank. The Terrier would probably do it as well. At the maximum speed I ever got out of the Terrier was about 70... No, about... Yeah, about 70 miles. I think I got 60, 60 70 miles an hour, but that's really pushing it. But the Terrier would do it. Easily. The Stroudly A1X Terrier. The, these speeds that we're doing, 50 mile an hour majority of it, 40. The Terrier would definitely do it. Right, I think we're coming into... Um, Barnaby Lebec, because the speed limit's now dropping to 30. <coughs> and that uh, that bridge looks awfully familiar. Barnaby Lebec? Nope. Barnaby. Barnaby Lebec, that's near... That's, that's near Waltham. Yeah, 
Okay, that bridge looks awfully familiar. Okay, let's coast down to 30 miles an hour. Not far to go now, if, if you're still watching and you're not bored yet. I think we'll easily coast down to 30. Maybe a bit too soon. And it's still a nice day outside. That's good. Yesterday was a, a bit of a drizzly one. And then uh, in the afternoon it brightened up. It was rather nice driving around in the Royal Mail van. And then it got to six o'clock time. And it went all back to drizzly horrible weather again. But here we're coming into Barnaby. Uh, yeah, Barnaby. Platform 3. There's a turntable there as well. So we're not far from Grimsby now. 18 miles to Cleethorpes. Right. Just check some of these signals, make sure they're all okay. Yep, they're okay. There's no point in speeding up, because we're going to be stopping at this station in a minute. We'll give it a little bit, we're going uphill. So we'll be stopping here, and then we'll stop in at Haber, Grinsby, and Cleefox. Okay, let's be. Which is platform three? I presume it's straight ahead. Yeah, it's that one. Let's apply some brakes. It's quite a long platform. We'll definitely get all of the train on this. And uh, it's Barnaby. Nice gentle stop. I think my passengers like my driving. Haven't really killed them yet. <laughs> Let's see if we can pull up pretty much near the signal. Let's just apply a little bit more brakes. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Anyone getting on? Yep. Just give them a minute. And then we shall go to Habra. There's a water crane here. Shall we fill up with water? I think we can do that. Why not? Let's just check the doors are shut first. Yes, they have. Let's go fill up with water first. 
I don't know why, but I just thought, well, let's go do it. Let's pull forward gently. Line the tender up. We can't get no coal here. We've got plenty of coal. We've got plenty of water as well, but... Gently does it. Line, line up the tender with the thingy. Oh, I don't. No, no, a bit more. It should work. Yeah, that'll do, I think. Let's apply the brakes. We should be able to fill it with water. There we go, look. You don't actually see the water coming out, but you see the numbers rising. Let's put some water in there before we head off. I think it only holds 40 gal 4,000 4, gallons. Oh no, a bit more than that. And there you go. 42,000 gallons. No, 4,200 gallons. What am I on about? Yeah, that, that, enough doing that. Let's get out of here. Thought I'd just show you how you do that. You can fill up with coal as well, but there's no coal places around here. You basically do the same thing. Line your tender up. When there's like a little building with a chute, metal chute coming out of it. F click on it and you'll see loads of black coal flying out. Well, that one does actually animate the coal and it does animate you. It shows the levels of the, t the, coal, the coal in the tender, the level rising as the coal's going in. But on this... You, well, you'd think they would have animated the water, wouldn't you? Flowing out the pipe. Oh, oh man, it's good enough. 60 miles an hour. Yay, we will walk take us long to get back to Cleefarts. So we've got plenty of water. And we've got 7.28 tons of coal on board. Well, we've got plenty of coal. Quite a big coal tender. We're going to be stopping at Hebra. And then we will be stopping at Grinsby and then Cleef Ops. Which will pull into Cleef Ops at approximately 20 past 4. So we whistle. I can't hear it very well. Right, on our way. Alright, we need to reduce that. We probably won't get up to 60 by the time we get to Haber, right down. Ooh, we're throwing them passengers about a little bit, not too much. That's okay. Good. 
I'm not sure what the top speed of the Thompson is. I'll have to, to check. The Thompson beef, whatever it is. The, yeah, the Thompson beef are. I'm not sure what the top speed of that is. We're going to have a quick look after we've finished. I think it's about 80. Probably about 80 mile an hour. I'm guessing at 80. Maybe 90. I know the Black 5 will do about 90. And they're pretty much the same size locos. But I've, I like the Black 5. My favourite loco. Because it's good for everything. Passengers. F express passengers. Local passengers. Freight work. It's really good. I took one on the East Coast Main Line. I, I did I did all the way from London to Edinburgh in one in a Black Five. Average my average speed was about well, say average, my top speed was about eighty three mile an hour, something like that. Eighty It push 80 mile an hour all day long in one of them black fives. It takes a little while to get it up there, but once it's up there, it averages about eight between 80 and 82 mile an hour. Obviously, that's on the flat. I hope we're no speed in here. But. I think I managed to get about 89 out of it when I was going downhill section, on a downhill. Well, that's not bad considering the, I think they're only meant to do about 90, 80, I think it's about 90. If I remember right, I think it's 90 miles an hour maximum speed of one of them. Yeah, I like the Black 5. It, it'll do anything, do any job with that. Pull anything with it. There's no point in speeding up, is there? I think we'll cut the power after we've gone through Brocklesby. Oh, look, there's a line going to the left of Brocklesby. I wonder where that takes you. Oh, I know, it takes you towards um, Barton. Yeah, it does, yeah, it takes you towards... Oh, Ulsterby, Fortin Abbey, Goxhill, all the way up to Barton, near the Umber Bridge. That's where that takes you. I had to think now where that, like, where that line was going to take me. And then you come, there should be another line somewhere up here. It takes you to the same place. Yeah, it is, it's there's the other line. Just behind them trees. Right, we need to slow down to 20 miles an hour. Let's play a little brakes. In fact, let's play a little bit more. I'm coming into Haber in a minute. Haber. Hey bro, hey bro. I think we might need a bit more brakes. Yeah, I think we're going to need a bit more than that. Make sure we get this train slowed down to 20. I think we'll be fine at that. He says. Or maybe not. Just a bit more. Yeah, 
Yep, we'll be okay now. Just make sure we wasn't speeding. Staggered platform here. Alright, oh, we're going over there. Of course we are. Alright, which will pull up in Habra. Let's apply the brakes. Release them again, they're coming in a bit too slow. We're not going to get much of the train on here. I think that'll do. Well, let's break about there. Right, some people are wanting to get on. We are approximately 11 miles away from Cleef Falls now. Let's just check. Yeah, everybody's on. Let's go. Once the brakes release. 20 miles an hour. Go past that as well. Right, no more stops now till Grinsby. Let's back that off a minute. Don't want to be speeding through there. Yay, now we can go 60. Let's go. Steady as she goes. We're gonna go going for. It shouldn't take us long to get there now. Once it gets going, let's just reduce that down a little bit. So. Keep the power up. Roxton siding. Level crossing. Roxton. Oh yeah. That's near um, Keelby. You actually, you actually go near there. Roxton siding. Level crossing. Let's go around this way. I like the way the light shines at the back of the loco when he's got his firebox open. Heading off. Uh, that was the uh, Roxton, and the next one's Little London. Oh, they've got a post box right next to their Little Lon their Little London. Hello.
to this. Just about to come from Stalingrad. Let's reduce that power down a bit. through healing oh no star number first a little side in at the back of star number there if you can get down there with manual points maybe no they all look automatic okay fair enough Best part of the route, this. You get, you get to go quicker. Healing. Oh, we're not far from Grimsby now. Great Coats is next station. And what station will be coming into Grinsbane? I would say Platform 1. We should do. It's usually Platform 1 when you're coming back to Grinsby. We'll soon find out. this side less bushes let's reduce the power a little bit right next station's Grinsby let's go see what the um, what platform has yeah we've got to come to Grinsby Should do. Here we are. Right, let's have a look. Which one is it going to be? Grinsby Town One. Yeah, I thought it was. Usually is. Usually leave on two and come back on one. Right, I think we'll coast because we're going to have a 15 miles an hour speed limit coming into the station. I think we might jump back in jump back in the cab as well while we're at it. Need to start applying some brakes. We've got to get down to 15 miles an hour. Yeah, we should be fine. What's that? Boulevard Avenue? 
Probably. Looks like Bolivar Avenue. There's another one there as well. A little bit laggy. Another one there. What's that one? Well, that, I think that might be Bolivar Avenue. Right, release the brakes. We're coming in a bit too quick. We should slow down in time for that. Let's get back in the cab. Fifteen mile an hour. Where's going to be town one? It'll be on the left. Well, it should be. What? That's a red signal there. Oh no, it's green now. Fucking hell. Scared the shit out of me. That was lucky, I thought it was going to be game over. Took its time, didn't it, deciding there was a train coming. Grinsby Tower. Roof's missing. Hang on, let's come out. Let's pull up at Grinsby Town. We're just about in this platform. Yeah, this will do. Stop. Right, got one more stop to do. That's Cleef Ops. Check that the doors are still open. Yeah, they're still open. If you want to get on the train, you better hurry up. Yep, that's it. We're going. Why is the roof missing on the station? Maybe hasn't completed it or something. Look over there. That's Corporation Road Bridge. Well, it looks like Corporation Road Bridge. Oh, oh, maybe it's not. Well, where did them characters go to? Was that just disappeared? Right, we can go up to forty miles an hour now. Let's go.
What bridge is that? Oh, it's... Is it past the street? Could be. This line here on the on the right, that's the one that takes you to Lauf. I think. It is if you go in from Cleethorpes. Oh, we have to slow down anyway to twenty five in a minute. I think we might need to just hit the brakes a little bit. Yeah. We'll have to hit the brakes a little bit before we get into Grimsby Docks. Sidings down there as well. Probably takes you into the Royal Dock and that. Yeah, it's the dock in it, the Royal Dock. Bends. They are very severe. Let's just wait till we get through these bends. Otherwise, the passengers are going to get chopped everywhere. Call from work. Right, what was I doing? Okay. We won't have time to do another. Sn we won't have time to do the merry merry go round. We'll have to do that later. I've been called into work an hour and a half early to get a job done. Extra hour, hour and a half overtime. Why not? Let's have it. Nuclei. That's Wickham Road, is it? I wonder if the bloke who did this was fairly local to the area. It might have been. Who knows? Right. We're nearly there. I'm going to go get some dinner as well. Before we go out. Oh, 
time is it anyway? Let's have a look. I have 12. Oh, plenty of time. Right, we're gonna come in into Clay Falls now. How come it says Clay Falls platform six and seven? Oh yeah, Clay Falls. Platform five, yeah. I was gonna say sending me in the wrong platform. I thought it was gonna protect me in the wrong platform. No, Clay Falls five, it's uh it's And there's a water tower, water crane there as well. There's the beach. Whew. Get in there. Just got to slow it down to 25 out. There's the Suggets Lane crossing. What they said they're closing. Takes you onto the beach. Right, let's hope there's no problems getting to the station. I've got to go down to 15 miles now, on not I? So I better start braking again. We'll see what happens. We're nearly here. Let's check that signal. Looks okay. Oh, it's not for us anyway. <coughs> right, apply some brakes. I'm speeding. I'm, we're not even at the 15 mile an hour. Alright then, fair enough. Caught me out again. Which is platform 5? Looks like it's that one there. Unless we're going across to the left hand side. Looks like we could be. Oh no, it's stopping on this side. Okay, fair enough. All these people waiting for us. And there's the pier at the back. Right, we better think about some brakes. Stop there for a reason because I'll show you. When it lets me do it, oh, 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 let's go back that way. There's a crossover there. Oh, I've gone too far. Well, there's a crossover there, and what they would do, you could drop your coaches off, come across onto the other side, run round your coaches and then pick them back up again. Oh no you can't. How oh, is that possible? Oh yes you can. Yeah. Right, well, that's the end of that. And uh, Thanks for watching, whoever was watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.
Yeah, let's just before we say our final goodbye, I'm just gonna check this out. Where is it? It's in here somewhere. North Lincolnshire. And it's it's down here somewhere. Sorry. Which is it? Which is it? That's it. Yeah, I think that's the one. What's this one? Oh, that's just practicing using coal chutes at the Westburton Power Station. That one there. That's the one. Immingham to Westburton Power Station, merry go round. That's the one. It's, text it's a two hour scenario using this class 47. There's a Thompson B1. This one's quite challenging as well. Get a few signal problems on that. That's the one anyway. This one here, King Cole. Right, so I'm going to get off now as I have to get some dinner. And um, get some dinner and then get my ass to work. So we'll catch you all later. Goodbye.